Hi everyone, welcome to World of Tanks with Stewie JP. I'm Stewie and this is the Tier 8 Russian Heavy Tank, the ever popular IS-3. Been driven today by Apple Boom X from Calm Clan. Apple Boom, Apple Boom X was kind enough to send me this replay via my YouTube channel. And he's lucky enough in this battle to be top tier on Redshire. And he's going to the spot where the heavies generally go on the eastern side of the map. In this double shot of Russian Tier 8 action, this replay. We'll be followed by another replay featuring the Object 416, the medium tank. So the KV-2 firing blindly into the hills just in case he is lucky enough to, to land a shot. Now have a look at have a look at the IS-3. It's probably one of the sexiest heavy tanks in the game. Look at it. He's already got a mark of excellence on his barrel, Apple Boom X from Calm Claim, which tells me that he's going to know exactly what to do when he gets into the usual brawling area. Where the enemy tanks go now if you look at the lineup of the two teams you would be forgiven for thinking that the enemy has a distinct advantage with heavy tanks and they do have more heavy tanks but when you look at it the top the only top tier heavy tank they have is the fcm 50 t 50 ton the french french um, heavy tank the one with premium matchmaking but that doesn't have any armor whatsoever and then and then of course the next heavy tank is a t7 and all the rest are tier sixes now, when you're in a big, when you're in a big IS-3, you do not care what enemy T6 tanks are doing. It's just you're just going to bounce them all day, and every time you shoot them, you're going to penetrate them. Or even a T7 French heavy tank, GameX M445, which I missed. Anyway, so Apple Boom X from Calm Clams already put two shots of damage in, and I think he's going to do some more. He damages and tracks the Tiger 1, so if anyone hurts the Tiger 1 while he's tracked, he'll pick up the spotting damage or assisted damage. T-150 bravely shoots at Apple Boom X. Score still zero all, but... And Apple Boom X will be absolutely wrapped that the enemy have sent so many, so many tanks here, because most of them are going to really struggle to penetrate him. There's T sixes there. There's a T seven. The FCM will penetrate him, no worries at all. But the FCM is only one tank. Just misses the opportunity to shoot the VK there. And he's obviously looking at the mini map. Well, we should have this covered here. We've got the FCM there. We've just taken him down to 650 health with the help of the Tiger. Now the KV two gets killed. But let's be honest. As derpy as the KV two is. He's not going to have a massive game in a matchup like this. Now, it looks like the enemy tanks are really pushing onto Apple Boom X from Calm Clan. So, he needs to make every shot count. Puts a shell into. Is that the Swedish autoloader? I think it is. Again, he's only a tier 6 tank, so Apple Boom X will bounce these shots all day. Picks up another kill, killing the VK3601. That's the same one that he didn't quite, didn't quite get. And the FCM bravely pops out to kill the Tiger too. He does take a shot from the Scorpion. The Scorpion's a tank that can comfortably penetrate the IS-3. But, but the um, he's putting the enemy FCM between where the Scorpion was and himself. Now, of course, the Tiger 1 wasn't too happy with Apple Boom X, but the Scorpion 1, the Tiger 1 is dead. After only not doing too much at all, Apple Boom X is absolutely carrying at the moment. He's done 2,400 hit points of damage, and now he's, he's taken out the Skoda, and now he's looking for the VK. VK will be very, very nervous indeed. There you go. That's kill number four for Apple Boom X, and now it's time to move, because he's cleared that flank out. Um, tanks that went with him no longer alive apart from the scorpion It'd be very handy having the scorpion backing you up as you're pushing his flank and moving into a little bit of open ground here but you can see he's picked up 2400 damage four kills which is half the kills that have been done and instead of going all the way around here he's taking an unusual approach and going up for this hill really sure what the tiger was complaining about. 
by all means, if you see it in the replay, be sure to let me know. But now Apple Boom X is looking at that tier 8 premium tank destroyer. The German Scorpion G. Very similar to the Rheimatol Borsig Bluffing Dragon, the tier 8 standard tank the Scorpion G. But the difference is, I think it's, a, it's considerably faster. Not quite as stealthy, I guess, but it's got a pretty handy gun. Bounces a shot from the Jag Panzer, shoots at him. Don't know where that shot went. Doesn't look like he got him. He has been tracked though, maybe he tracked him. Waiting for the gun to reload, looking for a weak spot, kills him. Picks up another 388 hit points of damage, as well as some spotting damage, because the other tanks were shooting at him as well. He's on five kills now for 2800 damage, and now he desperately wants to pick up the top gun by killing this Scorpion G. Scorpion G's a one shot, there you go, there's the top gun from Apple Boob X from Calm Clan and his IS-3, 3102 damage. I'd like to put a large bet that the Tiger didn't do that much damage, that's for sure. Looking at the mini map, looks like the Nash Nashorn, or the Nashorn, the Nashorn was last seen at A2 with the Jag Tiger 8.8, the premium tier 8 tank destroyer was last seen at D1, but you know, Pretty sure he's not there now. You'd think that T-54 Mod 1 would have spotted him by now. He's pulled back to C1. And he's also picked up a kill on the T-6 Hellcat. But that doesn't bother Apple Boom X. He wants to get another kill here. Or at least some more damage. He's looking for a shot. He doesn't have a shot. They're both behind. A little bit of cover. That Hellcat. Looks like he's being pretty brave there. Taking on the Nazor by himself. Nazor does have the hit points advantage. And he definitely has the armor advantage. And a pretty good gun. Gun's not going to be good enough to do much to our mate Apple Boom X. As the Hellcat picks up the kill, and now it's a case of looking for that Jag. Now, of course, you can see his ping. His ping just went to triple nine. Now it's on 600, 180, 130. Looking at it, looks like it's come good now. Double digit ping. Gee, we'd love to see that. But now it's jumping up again. Looks like someone might be watching some videos at Apple Boom X's place. Um, and that's. Bad drop in ping, or that bad ping is definitely costing him damage, but nonetheless, it's looking like a pretty comprehensive win by Apple Boom X from Calm Clan, picking himself up a top gun. As we have a look at the post game battle results, not only was it a top gun, it was also a high caliber and an ace tanker mastery batch. Duelist for destroying at least two enemy vehicles that caused damage to your tank. And of course the fire for effect. He did plenty damage, plenty of tanks there. As you look at the second page of the post-game battle results, 3,102 hit points of damage and six kills, which we knew. And 1322 base experience. Not a bad game at all. He blocked exactly 1,500 hit points of damage. And he also did 1,028 spotting damage, which would have contributed to his ace tanker mastery badge. Reasonably profitable game with 12,500 credits net profit with a standard account. I don't think he fired any premium rounds. He shouldn't have needed to, not with that lineup. But an absolutely awesome game by Apple Boom X from Calm Clan picking himself up an ace tanker mastery badge in the ever popular IS 3, the big tier 8 Russian heavy tank, which you see so much of in random battles. But of course, skirmishes and tier 8 clan wars. If, if if you do tier 8 clan wars, you'll see plenty of IS-3s as you battle on the global map. As we move on to the second game of this double shot of tier 8 Russian action, this one features me old mate Shipwreck Twice from RNG clan, and he's driving the unusual tier 8 Russian tank, the Object 416. Now the Object 416 leads to the Object 430 at tier 10. And it's the one with the turret at the back. It's very slim. Look at it. It's got a very slim line. Uh, it's very easy to uh, hide behind optical, hide behind houses or rocks or, or even even ridge lines. Um, and it does make for a hard target. It's very hard for the enemy to shoot you because you've got such a low profile. It has a pretty handy gun. The gun, especially when you know match up like this, where you're top tier, the gun will do 320 hit points of damage, 201 penetration, and the Heat premium rounds do 330 penetration. Now, Shipwreck Twice has his own YouTube channel as well, so make sure you check it out. I'll put a link in the video description. And 
shipwrecked twice. Really demonstrating the downside here of, of this tank. The downside of, of it being such a low profile, it's reasonably quick for a, for a tier 8 Russian medium and it's got a good gun, doesn't have gun depression at all. And that's because, just look at the way the gun sits. The gun is not going to be able to poke over ridge lines like a traditional medium tank might do. But can side scrape, it can dodge shells really well because it's got such a low profile. Anyway, in this matchup on Sand River, it's an assault battle. And of course, Shipwreck Twice doesn't need to attack it. He's defending the base. And you can see where the enemy tanks have gone. Up around the D6, D7 area. Looks like they're going to attack from that area. And Shipwreck Twice is getting himself into a position where he can put some damage into that KV-4. Very handy tank to get rid of. Of course, the Allied KV-4 slightly getting in the way. I don't think it was intentional. It looks like the enemy KV-4 might have just fired. So, Shipwreck Twice takes the opportunity to put a shot into him. Not lucky enough to do damage on that occasion. But uh, he's working together with this KV-4. Just try and keep the enemy KV-4 on us. Puts a shot into his into the top of the turret, but again, not lucky enough to get any damage. So he loads loads the heat rounds. And there you go. Takes him down to a one shot. Can he pick up another kill? The KV-4 Four on shipwreck side. Looks like he's copying a little bit of damage. And who said Russian guns are inaccurate? That one went through. He's picked himself up his first kill. He's already done 800 hit points of damage. And as he loads standard ammunition, which most of the tanks on the enemy side, apart from maybe the ISs and the other the American heavy tanks, that should be enough, especially if he gets to flank them. So he's going to get rid of the Type 59. The thing with the Type 59, because it's so rare. Generally, people who've got them are pretty good players. You can only win them now on the Southeast Asian server or the Asian server. KV-4 helps getting rid of the Type 59, the premium Chinese tier 8 tank. And Shipwreck twice. Just looking around, where can he get the most opportunistic shots? There's the new E5, the Patriot tank. First shot doesn't manage... I think he hit him, but it didn't go through. That Patriot tank has got pretty... Pretty handy turret armour, that's for sure. Trying to get a shot onto the Coppola, but not really going through. Nothing to panic about, though, because his team's winning 5-1. to one. As he looks for a shot into another premium tank, the T-34-3, the tier 8 Chinese premium tank. Gets a shot into the T-26-E-5, brand new Patriot tank. And again, shoots him again. I think he tracked him as well that time. And he's just letting this Russian gun do all the work and making the most of his low profile. Making it hard for people to hit him. Plenty of, a few of them are hitting him. But the frontal armor on this thing is pretty good. Not lucky enough to pick up the kill shot on the T26 E5, but he does on the second chance. Bringing the score up 8 to 3. Enemy Artie's obviously paying him a bit of attention because he knows that he's pretty close to for, pretty close to getting to where the Artie might be because all of the enemy tanks looks like they're all around here apart from that SU-122A. SU-122A, that's a good bit of matchmaking there. The T-5 Russian artillery, of course, shipwrecked twice and of course the Type 59 yeah, they both want to pick up this kill. Shipwreck twice is a lucky one. He one-shots him. And a, a thank from the KV-4. Thanks for the support, 416. It was very good teamwork when they were in this gully. The dry dry riverbed, I suppose. That's probably why it's called Sand River. 11-4 to 4 is the score. You can see that Shipwreck has picked up 3,000 hit points of damage. But this IS-3, hopefully the IS-3 is facing the other way. Shipwreck, shipwrecked. You can get some side and rear shots on him. He is. That IS-3 looks like he's going straight for the river. He wants to get away from that American tank. It's only a T6 tank. He can afford to take some shots for him. From him. Staying behind him. Goes for the shot on the STA or the Tiger rather than continuing to shoot the IS-3. 
Takes the IS-3 down to 400 hit points of health. And he takes like an HE shell from that M4A3E2, which consequently gets taken out by the Super Pershing. And one more shot on that will be enough, but no, somebody else takes it out. And it's the T6 American tank on shipwreck side, but not a bad result at all. And very, very good, like he said to me when he sent me this replay, very good teamwork between the KV-4 and, of course, Shitwreck twice in his Object 416. A first-class mastery badge, not quite enough to get an ace tanker, but he does pick up a high calibre. And looking at the second page of the post-game battle results, 4,019 damage, 3 kills, 12.55 base experience. I reckon he's probably only one shot off turning that into an ace tanker. A little bit of spotting damage, 481, but, of course, all the tanks that were shooting at the tanks that Shipwreck was lighting, they would have been able to see him for himself, so he didn't pick up as much... Spotting damage, as we've seen in other replays, but an absolute awesome result. Shipwreck twice with the Object 416, and of course, D-Buffer 01 from, what is it, is it TD Clan? TDD Clan, in the KV4, having a good game too. Good to see random players working together in random battles. 12,000, nearly 13,000 net profit in his Object 416. Did have to fire some premium rounds to penetrate... Uh, the, the Patriot tank from memory, the, the new American premium tank, as well as one or two others. But an absolute ripper. 4,019 damage from Shitwreck twice from RNG Clan featuring the Object 416. Tier 8, rear turreted Russian medium tank. Thanks for watching everyone and thanks very much. Apple Boom X from Calm Clam and Shitwreck twice from RNG for those awesome replays. Hope you've all enjoyed and thanks very much and I'll see you all next time.